All right, I'm gonna do a tour of my two toolboxes here at my house. Used to be an automotive tech. Now I am a school bus mechanic and all of my tools are provided at work other than what I want to take to work. So this is just me showing what I have. Over here, I have a little locker for detailing cars and all that stuff, a little knee pad. Shelf with an extension cord, oil catch, uh, little, I use it for traveling, you know, take and use oil to dispose of it. Jump box, cheater pipe, uh, oil catch can, extra fluids, freon, purple power, little, um, uh, sanitary and oil. Uh, extra stuff, there's silicone spray, trash can, all this. This is a K-Tools Master Ball Joint Set, a spare tool bag, another catch can, another knee pad, bag of rags, and an ammo can. And this bucket down here is a fender cover, spill-free funnel, propane tank, bearing packer, uh, gear oil for a lower unit. On an outboard, there's some battery cleaner tucked back there. This is some Yamaha gear oil for an outboard. Fridgy Fresh, um, AC oil, little window thing. Uh, use this for crimping copper lugs on wiring. Oil chain stickers. All this, my streamlight flashlight, lights, magnetic trays, all my notes, glass cleaner to clean the box, washer fluid, fish finder, battery chargers, miscellaneous stuff, uh, antifreeze tester, deodorant, electrical tape, tape measures, more grease, fishing line, you know, all the whatnots. Some extra flashlights, four wheel keys hanging up there, yada yada. Work platform, there's an underhood light there, a stool, and my creeper. Uh, level, another light, some more magnetic shelves. Um, this isn't mine, I'm borrowing it from my buddies, but I'm going to end up getting one. Carpet bunks, or bunks, or carpet for my bunks. On my boat trailer, extra boat parts. I got to fix this, the wiring came loose, got to resolder it. Uh, hitch from a truck Work table grandpa's tools, but I have got a sh little shelf of nuts and bolts and a wire shelf In That case overflow tools of stuff. I don't use all the time, but still need uh, vacuum coolant jug washer jug extra five gallon bucket my battery charger that normally sits on the shelf. My jack. Uh, another old catch can down there. And then we'll just start over here. All of my electric tools with a hood prop and half inch breaker bar. Bit driver. Uh, drill both Makitas. Harbor Freight grind or Walmart grinder. Walmart jigsaw. Harbor Freight cheap $20 heat gun. Milwaukee fuel half inch uh, drill snap on half inch impact gun the older style three snap on 3 8 ratchet matco 3 8 impact gun and snap on screw gun uh, trim tools scrapers and hose picks snap on harbor freight husky uh, these are matco Standard wrenches, husky, gear wrench. Those are also gear wrench. Those are husky. Little extra, like little knickknack brake tools. Uh, that's a Mac. Uh, another half inch. These are like Craftsman's. Little brushes, lubes for doing brakes and whatnot. Staple gun, battery carrier, uh, wood chisels, caliper rewind, or compressor small micrometer this is a another caliper we want uh, depressor 
for smaller rear brakes. Doing drum brakes, caliper hangers, another tool for doing drum brakes. Another caliper uh, compressor, C-clamp, bungees, uh, and um, hose, hose pinchers, but won't damage the hose on brake lines. My diagnostic drawer, I got test light, stethoscope, temp gun, wire strippers, uh, solder gun, I've got two um, scan tools, blue point, Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freight does a lot more than that blue point. My blue point, uh, DMM, all my little attachments and fuses and extra relays and little, little extra lugs for hooking to the side post batteries. Oh, and there is a spark tester right here. This is spare, like, consumables. Vacuum clamps, uh, some more wire nuts and barrels, some more wire nuts and barrels, cotter pins, uh, cable clamps, AC O rings. This is a uh, impact driver from Mac. Uh, Black and Decker drill bits. Craftsman drill bits. I need to get, I need to get rid of these two and just get a new set. Um, spare bits, O-rings, heat shrink, and then in here, extra sandpaper, uh, mixing concrete for air fittings and all that stuff. It's kind of empty. Uh, Foxwell battery tester, really nice battery tester for the price. I think it's like Twenty bucks on Amazon. These are, this is for mainly like home stuff. Extra like little screws and washers and nails and brackets and all that stuff. Or need to hang anything or fix something in the house that's coming apart. Uh, Harbor Freight AC manifold gauges. For as much AC work as I do, uh, those do just fine. Oil filter cups, um, band wrenches, blue point band wrenches, spring cup, works. That thing works wonders. Screwdrivers, trying to find a way I can keep these here and they won't go flying everywhere. But all my bits I use on a daily basis. Rising screwdriver, a uh, little bit driver, uh, precision screwdrivers, a little quarter inch, uh, three eighths, half inch, and then screwdriver Phillips, and then extras, flatheads, Phillips heads, obviously. Those are Mac. All my receipts and all that stuff. Uh, diesel engine compression tester. In here. Extra little clips for some socket organizers, wire, extra wires, um, hose clamps, and a little vacuum um, pump kit with brake bleeder. <clears throat> and then in here, these actually go. In. These are heat sleeves, gear puller. These are for what I use for pressing in and out wheel bearings. You need to press. This is a power probe. I believe power probe three power steering power steering pulley puller and installer it only comes with this one installer i ended up buying the other installer as well and this is a gm water pump tool on a 2.4 liter ecotech so that's the harbor freight box that's mainly like overflow I don't touch it all that often, mainly touch it for the power tools and screwdrivers. And then this box is where all my other main tools are. So all my sockets, metric, 
quarter inch metric, um, allens and torques and whatnots, and then the standards. Miscellaneous sockets, adapters, oil filter sockets, spark plug sockets. Uh, this is a mix of, well, this is all, these are all blue point on this rack. And then these are uh, Matco, e Torx and Torx Impact. Mix of gear wrench, snap on, and then I know these are gear, these two are gear wrench. These are snap on. This is I think I believe gear wrench minus one. I think it's eight. Yeah, the eight's a Stanley, and the fifteen is a Mac. Uh, triple squares, extractors, snap uh, blue point and Matco. Just go ahead and get the blue points. The Matcos are tapered too much. They don't bite as good. Extra Allens, more filter sockets, uh, some more 3 8 sockets, half inch chrome, half inch impact, Pittsburgh snap on, snap on. These are snap on or blue point flip sockets. These are the half size lug nut sockets with the um, extractor lug nut sockets. As you can tell, they've been beat and abused and used. 3-8 impact sockets, snap-on. 3-8 shallow impact sockets, Matco, Mac, Chrome, shallows, snap-on deep, 3-8. These are 3-8 and quarter-inch 12 points. Matco impact swivels, O2 sensor socket. These are uh, excellent sockets from 32. 39 and then I've got was handed this I don't know why someone was cutting it but it is a three quarter inch drive inch and three quarter but hey all right let's sit there this is all metric wrenches uh, line wrenches miscellaneous wrenches that's an eight and a ten ratcheting Gear wrench ratcheting, wrench stubby ratcheting. These are platinum, um, like 17, 19 offset sizes. And these are gear wrench. Personally, I go for the gear wrench just because I can break it loose with this end and then ratchet it off and not have to worry about breaking the ratcheting mechanism, which I have done in the 12 and 14 wrench. This one's been replaced like three times. But still come in handy. Just keep them around. Husky stubbies, gear wrench ratcheting, husky normal wrenches, two clutch wrenches, wrench extender. This is a ADT32, another husky 27, and then 26 to 10 is all snap on. Um, flank drive. Until you get, I believe I bought the extra size, and it didn't come flank drive, and it was, I believe, 20, yeah, 20 to 24, yeah, but the 25 is a flank drive, and I believe the 26 is also, nope, okay, 26 is not a flank drive. Just where it was, but oh well. Uh, adjustable wrenches, line wrench, crow's feet, clutch. They do the job. Ratchets and extensions, 3 8 chrome, 3 8 impact, half inch impact, half inch chrome, and then um, quarter inch, quarter inch ratchets, 3 8 ratchets with a 3 8 breaker bar. And then these two are half inch, or these three are half inch ratchets. Uh, air hammer bits, punches, a little non marring uh, scraper. G, uh, not GM, Chrysler dipstick. For those cars that don't have a dipstick, extra little uh, taps and dies, miscellaneouses. Stud finder, uh, Allen's. These come in handy when you do brakes, and you have that C's slide pin. And you're able to get the slide pin out. 
click this, take this, put this in a drill, run this in and out, and it cleans it out, and then put new grease. New grease and take the old pen to the wire wheel, clean it off the best you can, never happen again. But I got these from Harbor Freight. And they had like a little eyelet over here where you can stick your finger in. Just cut that off. Works wonders. Uh, easy outs, razor blades, little box of your drivers. This is extra bits and allens, um, stud installers, and wheel hangers, and wheel locks. Pry bars, extra glass from a welding helmet. Miscellaneous parts like light bulbs, uh, plastic clips, drain plugs, little battery stuff, skid plate bolts, um, brake stuff. These are for extra little specialty clips that you may need for like Ford plastic um, radiator hoses. This is for a belt tensioner, little grenade pin, as I like call it. This is a forward timing bolt. It locks the tensioner. I can't remember on the engine size. I think it was a two liter. Um, clutch alignment tools, little extra knickknacks there, pliers. Um, this is a kit for bench bleeding master cylinders. It's got all the fittings and the hose. As you can see, I had to replace the master cylinder on my truck. Reason why I bought it, used it, haven't touched it since, but still will keep it. All my hammers, Harbor Freight, Mac, Snap On, some more Mac, uh, some claw hammers, rubber mallet, batteries, Harbor Freight sander, little, all the cookies and discs and all that stuff for the grinder, Icon Torque Wrench. Bag of zip ties, bag of rags. If everything would not be grabbing on it, so pull the drawer out all the way. And here's miscellaneous stuff. This is a TPMS tool for Fords. All the bolts I've used for um, brake drums, brake rotors. Bought this. Thinking it'd fit one of my bits back in the day. Hasn't paid three bucks for it. I'll step on truck. Haven't used it since, so it just sits there. As a reminder, do research before you buy it. A uh, little tire gauge stuff, extra bits. This is a little chuck for a uh, quarter inch chuck to drill. If I'm in a pinch, my drills all break. After that, little blue point mirror. Valve core tools. This is one I use for AC because it's got the bigger core. Little um, blowgun attachment. Those are also blowgun attachments. Scraper, tire chalk, fuel line disconnects, um, some more air chucks, battery, um, terminal cleaner, hood prop for the ones with the wore out struts, wiper, uh, wiper arm remover. Another wiper arm remover and battery terminal remover. Prefer, just go ahead and buy this one over that one. This one you can use more. And it will hold up longer. This one tends to start to bend. As you can see, that's not very straight. Brake gauge, torch, Teflon tape, magnets, extra picks, and all that. I try to use these picks before I use these picks. Because I have broke these before. I had to wait a month before I can get a new pick. Yeah, it was it's tough. Air tools, Mac 38's ratchet, older Mac 38's ratchet, Harbor Freight cutoff tool, my Matco air gun, blue point quarter inch ratchet, a little straight grinder, Cornwall 38's impact stubby, half inch. Uh, snap on impact matco air gun or air hammer and harbor freight angle grinder and yeah, reorganize everything because they go sliding
and here is all my blow mold cases, torque sticks, um, snap-on compression tester with Harbor Freight adapters like plugs, a rear caliper or uh, wind back tool with the ones with integrated parking brake, back Cornwell vacuum fill coolant system, um, Cornwell compression or not fan. Pressure tester coolant system for the coolant system, my propane tank for my torch, uh, gear wrench serpentine belt tool. It's not the flex head one, it's a straight. I haven't needed the flex head. I need the flex head. I'll grab my half uh, three eighths flex head ratchet that's like extra long. Um, extra adapter for coolant systems. This is help clean the box, make it look nice when I'm in the mood. Some little dummy gauges and fittings for AC. Uh, large micrometer AC leak kit and these are snapper and pliers I think if I believe if I'm doing it correctly I think they're Langs yeah yeah Langs they don't get used often but when I need them they're there and they work great And plus, I think they are $75 on Amazon, so you can't beat it. But yeah, that there is my toolbox tour. I've got to go through my grandpa's tools. That's scattered all throughout that. And some of his sockets and Allen's. They're all in here and in here. I know he's got, I got a hose kit or hose set of hoses for an oxyacetylene torch from them a little nail gun uh log splitter a wedge a battery charger this is a like if i remember correctly I think this is an empty toolbox no it had a little spare parts just little extra doodads and whatnot Yeah, he's got all these Allens, like big Allen. Oh my time it is. All Allens, straight Allens, you name it. He had it. I actually I think I needed this. Yeah, I needed this the other day. Two inch, three quarter drive. 12 point socket needed it for a pinion nut just the other day well, I forgot it yeah he's got all that stuff there and in here I think I've got all of his wrenches the, the air filter and funnel and binder are mine He's got a half inch Husky torque wrench, Allen's impact guns. I think this, yeah, it's another micrometer set. Looks like it's never been used. C clamps, some wrenches, nails, and stuff. I can't even remember what this was. This was tips for plasma cutter. Just cut off tool, big wrenches, all that. Pipe wrenches, punches and chisels, you name it, it's in here. Well, that's my toolbox door. Oh, forgot. Underneath there, I have a... Oh. I've got these are some empty cases and stuff. This is a tire step. I bought it, put the rugs on it, never used it. Haven't needed to, but I have it if I need it. I think I may start using it for when I'm detailing cars. I can get 
to the middle of the roof on the trucks. Yep, yeah, right there is my toolbox tour.